So who are the next best picks? And I'll tell you right now, for my money, Jamal Murray is probably the next available or best available uh, upside, meaning a guy that can play the guard position, combo guard, can shoot from the outside, score. He's only 18 years old, played at Kentucky. But as far as upside goes, he probably has the highest upside. Then I look at a guy like Chris Dunn from Providence. People, all those Providence people. Chris Dunn is a two-way player. A really, really excellent defender. Uh, not as big as Marcus Smart. He's 6'3". But this guy, I'm telling you right now, could could play in the backcourt any NBA team in the league. This isn't like drafting uh, Terry Rozier like the Celtics did this year and him riding the pine and then seeing some time when Avery Bradley got hurt. Uh, I think Chris Dunn immediately will make an impact uh, defensively, somewhat like Marcus Smart. They're similar players. One, they both can't shoot. Uh, But I'm curious if you could build around a combo of Chris Dunn and Marcus Smart. Dunn is a little bit more of a point guard than Smart is. But as far as upside goes, I think Chris Dunn has all that upside. Then it becomes a little tricky. And the big names that you hear, of course, are Dragon Bender, who I've watched a few highlights of him, but he's just truly an unknown. Truly an unknown. But in my opinion, Brandon Ingram, Ben Simmons, Jamal Murray, Chris Dunn, and Jalen Brown are the top five players with upside in this draft. And if the Celtics get a top five, top six pick, if they get the six pick, I'm not sure it's worth drafting a player with the six pick. I think they're better off trying to trade it. And overall, I think they should be trying to trade this lottery pick no matter what. But I'm saying if it's one or two, I think the Celtics should hang on to it and try to build around it. And history shows, besides Anthony Bennett, the number one and number two picks, you can build around these guys. And, you know, yeah, it might take two, three years, but, you know, look at Anthony Davis. Look at that team. Look what the Wolves are going to be, Timberwolves. Now they get Tom Thibodeau in place. I mean, you just see a lot of these guys. The Celtics have done have done really well just drafting what they've had and where they've been. 